Greetings everyone. Looks like it's time for a video. So again, I hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, today, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you call this. It's not really an unboxing, uh, but I guess it is kind of an unboxing slash two haul. I'm not really going to go over uh, in great detail about what I picked up. And this isn't one from any one spot. I don't know what you call it, a multi-purchase haul. Uh, and some of this isn't kind of tools, but uh, we're going to cover what, you know, with the, with things kind of disrupted right now, uh, you, you end up buying things from different places. Plus, I'm also trying to buy things from uh, smaller companies um, or companies I know that I trust uh, in an effort to try to support them uh, as opposed to going to big companies and buying things from them. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, Let's see here. One thing I will say is a couple of these items, or at least one definitely, potentially two, will come back and uh, will be um, in a couple of future videos. So, without further ado, uh, let's see here. First off, let's talk about this. Now, this is Veritas, uh, the, their panel platform kit. It's uh, empty because I've already gone and taken it out and made the kit. Um, I'll put a link uh, in the description uh, to this item and then I think they have a video you can watch where they show you about it and all that. Um, I've got one twist that I've done. Uh, I may This may come back in another video uh, for another project because I may use this along with something else. Just an idea I've got. So I'm not really going to go into much detail. Watch the video and see what it's like. Um, I've got, I made up my own, um, I guess, sawing platform that sits on top of my uh, saw horses. And it's fine, but it's big and bulky, and this is a lot uh, smaller, more compact. And as you can tell by the guy here, uh, yeah, they've got this cool bag that comes with it, which allows you to store it. Um, and I like that a lot more. So I may come back and talk about this more, but that's about it. Uh, I'm going to say I picked it up from Veritas, which is, you know, Lee Valley's uh, tool uh, line, their main one. They have others, but this is their big one. Um, and... Uh, they make great stuff and they're a great company uh, in Canada. They do have finally a store in the United States, um, uh, but and I highly recommend checking them out. They have a lot of cool stuff. All right, the other thing I got from them is uh, these two uh, low profile work stops. I don't have a part number for it, but to give you a rough idea of what they are, um, you know, if you have a bench, or in this case, this is really meant more for uh, Festool's MFT. Um, you have, uh, I'm not going to completely take it out, but it's a very low profile stop and by low profile, I mean, it's very thin. So you might have, you take these two, um, studs and they fit in here. There's a slot that's here and you go and you put both of the, the studs in here and you tighten them up and then you go and you can drop it in to, uh, dog holes on your bench. In this case, this is the 20 millimeter, uh, size. Uh, studs, which really means it's meant for a Festool MFT or multifunction table. Um, I'll just put a link in there so you can see what that's like. So I picked this up um, and to give a little background why uh, Festool has, you know, the MFTs are really uh, interesting uh, table. It's pretty nice. There's a lot of uh, items that have come around. Uh, I guess you could say third-party accessories and whatnot that have been built um, for it and Veritas made, or Lee Valley through Veritas made this. They made some dogs, and Festool has this tendency to offer certain kits, like there's their infamous uh, bit sets, which are only offered, for example, like a year, and then they're sold out and discontinued another year or two later. They'll come up with another one, and they'll change it up. They, they did a similar thing with the MFT accessories. Um, they actually worked with Veritas to make uh, these, except branded in Festool, not in the Veritas. Uh, and then they also had some special dogs, uh, you know, or bench studs that you put them in the holes, the dog holes, and you can clamp something together. Um, and they had this kit, and it was very expensive, so, uh, but it sold out pretty quick. And then on top of that, you can, if, if you take the time, you can find most of the parts and put them together yourself cheaper. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I've been meaning to do this for a while and uh, finally went ahead and did it. Um, so that's that part. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So this is a uh, Shinwa uh, made in Japan. 
uh, rule. I picked it up from Amazon. It was extremely inexpensive. Um, Shenmue makes uh, well known for making measuring uh, items and other things. I've got a uh, large framing square from them that I really like. It was very expensive, but it's it's really nice and very high quality. Uh, in this case, I I noticed I had a problem. So um, over time, I've been slowly using more and more of the metric system in the shop. Um, partly because Festool, being out of Germany, they have um, a lot of metric uh, measurements. They kind of tried to go the other way by putting imperial scales on some of their tools, but. Once you buy into the metric system and you start using it more and more, you kind of don't want to go back. Uh, I know I don't. Um, and in some cases, and others, you know, sure, I grew up with inches, and uh, I can't say that it's exactly easy, but um, in the end, it ends up being better. You know, you get a rough idea of what's going on. So one of the problems I've got is, is I don't have any metric measuring tools other than this one square from Lee Valley. Uh, I do have... Uh, this one Festool tape. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in another video along with some other uh, tapes. But I don't really have anything long, so what this is for is to allow me to, if I need to, I can go and use it for metric uh, or, or imperial. I flipped them backwards. I can use it for metric or I can use it for imperial. And I don't really, I already have imperial um, rules. I have a, a number of them, like five or six of them you know, yardsticks, 24 inch, 12 inch, so on. So this kind of is, is kind of not very useful. I really wanted one that was split between the two, but um, I'm not going to talk too much about this right now. The reason why I got it is mostly so I can have myself a good, uh, in this case, 300 millimeter rule. Um, this will come back in a, in a future video because I ordered another one, um, which I think is going to be delayed, but when I get that one and this one, I'll probably try to do a comparison between the two and have a video about it. But maybe not. It just depends on whether or not I think it's worth it. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, next thing is this Amana uh, tool router bit. Uh, this is uh, Amana tool. They make, they're not, I guess, as well known as a router bit manufacturer like, say, Freud or CMT um, or maybe even Whiteside, I guess. But Whiteside is pretty well known or, you know, some of the more budget manufacturers like MLCS, uh, but they, nevertheless, they make good stuff. I've had a few of the other their router bits and they're pretty good. Um, this one is a, it's a one quarter inch shank um, pattern bit. There is, uh, let's see, can't really tell here because it's covered up. They have this plastic coating covering. I'm not gonna take it off right now, but there's a bearing here. And then it's a two flute, means cutting edges uh, bit and it's basically what it is, is you use it to go, and let's see, let me get, yeah, this will work. If you can assume like you've got kind of like a, a template, you can go along here and follow a pattern or a template to um, route out, a, uh, you know, like something out of wood or whatnot. And it's actually very hard to find quarter inch shank um, pattern bits in this size. Um, I'm kind of surprised that I've actually got it. Uh, but it's fine. It's what I want. Um, I have a use for it in a video I'm still currently working on, which is taking a while because, as always, these things usually do. So, uh, But I'm happy I got it. I've got another one over for, uh, from Freud, which is a 3 8 inch, but it's delayed. So, uh, But Amana, like this is actually made in Israel, but I think they make some of their bits in America too. So Anyway, that's that one. Uh, I had something else over here, which uh, we'll push the, this one for the last out of the way. Um, this is a Festool. Uh, it is a, let's see, I don't know what you call it. They have clean tech. What it basically is, is um, I'll crack it open for you so you can see it. And, and I was kind of surprised the price I saw on this was pretty inexpensive, honestly speaking. But basically what it is, is um, it's a drilling dust collector. So if you're drilling with a drill, and let's assume for a minute that you've got a drill here and you're drilling into something, uh, you can, and we'll actually imagine like this is a wall, you can go and you push, if you assume this is the drill bed, it's going in, and you hook the vacuum cleaner hose up to this, and then this thing actually has this, you can't really tell too well, but there's a, a gasket here. And what happens is, is that when you plug in the vacuum and turn it on, you put this in place, and assuming the surface that you're uh, drilling into is smooth enough, uh, it'll create a vacuum and it'll hold it in place. 
And then uh, you come in with your drill and you drill and there's a little slot in there and the, the dust from let's say you're drilling into drywall, which is pretty common, or maybe some wood or something, it'll get sucked into it and you'll have little to no dust. Um, for what I've seen on other videos and whatnot, it works really well if you have a good smooth surface. So like drilling into a drywall uh, is probably gonna work out really well, while drilling over like say brick or concrete, yeah, probably not gonna to do too well. But I got it for a good price, 25 bucks. Uh, I've seen these in the past. These things usually run, because Festool is so expensive, they run like, you know, 45, $50. Uh, because Festool is quite frankly, pricey in some cases, uh, <laughs> overpriced but you know it, it's they have their pluses and minuses and that's the way it goes so uh, and you can see the kind of the idea here on the picture um so that's uh, that part and finally as i'm sure you're asking what's in the box show me the box what's in the box well i will actually so v hot tools is uh they they're a german tool manufacturer but they have a I guess distributor slash uh, dealer, uh, VHA Tools USA, and um, they uh, ran a promotion that I just happened to stumble across on um, a woodworking site I read, and somebody mentioned that that because they had 50,000 uh, Instagram followers, they ran a promotion for four days where you could enter a coupon code and get 50% off anything in the store. Uh, or on their online store, which is really, really, really nice. And if they had free shipping, fifty dollars or over, and I said, you know what, I'm going to pick up something that I'm in. I've not opened this, um, so I don't know what kind of shape it's in, and hopefully it'll be good. But uh, it was a phenomenal uh, deal, and I'm glad I got it. So I've already, I know what this is, and uh, this is how it's packaged, pretty nice by them, and. Let's see what we got here. So this uh, is an extremely nice case, which I have to say, it's not a surprise. I don't know, I guess this is up. And if we open it up, we get, ta -da, the uh, Viha uh, split mallet set, or split head mallet set. So uh, what these are, um, you know, mallets are pretty well known. They're uh, different types, and that's what this kit is all about. I'm not going to talk about this now. This is just a quick, hey, this is what it is. I'm going to actually talk about this in a future video, but I got this half price, and it's really pricey, and it's very nice, and I'm very pleased about that. So they give you some nice stuff in here. Um, whole bunch of uh, information. They talk about how to use it and all that, which is really good. So, and you get this nice metal case and foam and all that. You really just don't see things like this nowadays, honestly. I mean, nowadays we get plastic cases and whatnot, so this is pretty impressive. Um, anyway, that's all this is. Uh, not really going into detail about some of it because there's no point, but this will definitely be coming back in a video. Um, and, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, the rules... Uh, you know, the chinois and then another one I've got, I, there's a chance it'll come back as well. So anyway, hope you enjoy this. Uh, everybody stay safe and healthy and uh, hope you enjoy watching. And please like, dislike, subscribe, comment, um, and uh, keep an eye out for more videos. And if you want, uh, you can go back and watch some of my older stuff. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.